Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Art. As you can see behind me, we have two massive armies ready to go. Today is boss fighting day, so we're almost at the point where we can do the bed of Fenrir. We'll be using the shadow mains for that. However, we have one guy left to beat before we can do death, and that is the Broodmother. So we're going to be taking the Megalania in, and oh dude, I tell you what, the stats on these guys, oh, they turned out fantastic. So got everybody raised up, went ahead and did the shadow mains at the same time. That way I could kind of save on some element using the Immutator for the growth pulse. And some stats on these guys, I'll show you before we go. So these saddles are the 133 that we had in the last video. Their health I've got at 15,000, that should keep them alive with that. And the saddle, I mean the Broodmother's not too bad. And the damage is up to just under 1500%. So, these are a little bit better than the ones we did testing with yesterday because the ones we did testing with didn't have any of the imprint bonus and stuff. So I took a pair out, a male and a female, along with the UD, gave it the boost, plus the mate boost, and they do about 260 to 265 per bite. So that's not too bad, man. That's not too bad at all. And seeing how we've got a full flight of 19 plus a UD, we should be okay. I hope. <laughs> that's the plan. And I'll go ahead and show you the Shadow Mains. We'll talk about those later, probably in the next video when we do the Fenrir. But the stats on those guys, I gave them about 36,000 on the health and then 1,600 on the damage. Some of these are a little, little bit lower, just because of the way that the breeding went with them. But that's kind of the highest stats that they have. So it's not too bad. We've got different flavors, man. we got some of the blue. we got some of the green. We've got some of the yellow. So it's kind of neat, man, having a mixed army. And those, I got 20. We're not taking the... The UD in on that one. I think I'm gonna ride one of those because they have the boost that it does. I think it's the male one that boosts everybody. And I haven't really played with that much, so we'll kind of see how it is. Let me show you something before we head out. So out of all of the breeding I did on these guys, I only got one with a mutation. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think it went into, it was either weight or movement speed. This one. Oh, dude, and the colors on it are fantastic, man. So that's what we came out with. All that changed on it for the mutation was the stripes. So it's not too bad, man. I like it. I have not seen one. It's kind of like a plum purple color almost. But it's kind of cool, man. Got the regular black skin and underbelly. And dude, I tell you what, at nighttime, oh, it looks fantastic. They glow very, very well. I think we're kind of set. So we've got the pheromone darts we're taking. Somebody told me in a comment that if you take the pheromone darts and like you shoot the boss, that the minions will go after the boss as well. Haven't really done it, so we'll go ahead and try that out as well, just to see how it happens, or how it works out. And if it happens to work, that'll be great, because that'll help us out with the Megalanias, right? Because they do got a low damage, they bite pretty fast, so kind of have high hopes for them. I've been wanting to use them on a boss fight for a very, very long time, so I'm kind of excited about it. And, I mean, they're the aberrant version, so you can't really go wrong there. I'm going like a little bit of omelets for breakfast. And I did remember the relic this time. I always forget it. Luckily, we have like three or four of the bee, just because it's so easy. I usually fly over there when I'm getting honey or polymer and kind of just kill it off while I'm there. I mean, it's super simple, right? It's an easy one. So, the place we're going to, I think... Let's see, where's the water at? I dropped down to try to locate it the other day. And it should be right here, which is kind of cool, because all we have to do is jump off. Time that right, which we did fantastically. <laughs> and we're right over here by the cave. It should be just up this little ledge here, I think. Up oh, over a little bit further. Oh, there's a Rex over there, too. Oh, you know what? I forgot to make a derm tool. What do we need for the derm tool? Flint, stone, and wood. I'll tell you what, let's grab some stuff real quick. I definitely want to be able to get the dermis off of this one, seeing how we forgot it on... Oh, we didn't forget it. <laughs> well, we kind of did on the dragon. We had some issues, so let's just call it that. What are we missing? Oh, flint. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll try to avoid that one Rex, but remember where he's at. That way we can go ahead and take him out whenever we come out. Because I definitely want some more of the runes. We're doing fairly well on him. Not too bad on the runes. We got quite a few. As long as we don't keep losing the boss fights. I don't want to have to keep doing the open world bosses for no reason, you know? It's expensive. Now it's a level 100, too. I'll tell you what, let's go around him. I think where we're going to, though, is just around the corner here. So if we can not aggro him, that would be fantastic. I think it's right up in here. It's right by this one waterfall. I need to kind of clear it out. That's what I need to do. There we go. Yep, let me in. Let me in! Alright, no problems in here either, please. 
So the good thing about the Megalania is they are so small, we shouldn't have any issues getting them up on the platform. Yep, stay down there, guys. Not here for you today. At least not right now. Clean these guys out. But the UD is already full. Make sure he got plenty of food this time. And I did something different. So you guys left me some comments as well about taking him, putting him in his own team group, and then I turned off the group whistles. Where's it at? Yeah, so I turned off the group whistle, so he should ignore all that whenever I whistle for everybody to do stuff. That way, whenever I hop off of him, he'll stay right there and not go anywhere, and he should be on passive as well. He is. So that should help out, man. I really hope so, because that's... <laughs> I was going nuts with him running off in the last video during the boss fight every time I hopped off of him. But let me get these guys out. We will jump into the boss fight. Hopefully make it out with everything, and then kind of go from there. Kind of curious about the different ones for the Dermis, too. We'll have to put out one of the taxidermy things. And set that up and check it out as well. Alright, so that's all of them. We should be fine. Everybody is inside the ring. Let's go ahead and throw our stuff in here. We are having some of the spiders kind of walk up here. So I want to get in there as fast as we can. I think just having the Durham tool. We'll put it I mean, right there. should be fine. So there we go, man. All of the artifacts, the relic, and all the little bit of parts. And what do we need for this one? All the same stuff, just more parts. Okay, that's not too bad. Super cheap, man. Super cheap. Ah, uh, dude, I can't wait to try this out. I have high hopes. Don't let me down, guys. Please. I would appreciate it. <laughs> Seeing how the last boss fight went. Alright, everybody make it in. <gasps> Where's the Megalania? Can those not come into the boss arena? Oh, dude! I didn't look that up! So, hmm. That's that's not gonna end well. We are not, dude, please do not stop for that. We're not gonna be able to, oh, we're gonna get wiped. Oh, I'm gonna lose everything again? There is no way we'll be able to do this with the Broodmother. I mean, with just Yudi. Well, let's try something. Seeing that we're here, let's shoot that and see if that works. It doesn't, it does absolutely nothing. Oh, dude! That's another boss fight we're gonna get wiped from! <laughs> I brought my good long neck in too! I was so sure we were gonna be able to beat this boss with no problems. He's not gonna hold up. The UD's not gonna hold up at all. We're already losing a ton of health, man! I can't believe the Megalania can't go into a boss fight. I mean, they're, they're tiny. They're not like a special team or nothing. I mean, they're kind of a special variant because they're aberrant. I mean, that shouldn't matter, though. I'll have to look it up whenever we get out of here. I mean, let's just... Come on. We're not going to be able to make this. Oh, dude. So what are we going to lose? Our armor. I have our good chitin armor on, okay? I've got our good shotgun I just remade. And then our long neck, which I do not have a blueprint for, I don't think. There's no way. There's no way I'll be able to do this. The UD's going to take so much damage. He's already almost gone. It looks like the pheromone darts don't work either. Because they're not doing anything for the boss. Hmm. Yep, there goes the UD. There goes us. Ah, oh, dude, just take me now. Yep. Yep. Oh, mistakes have been made today again. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> this time... I really don't want to talk about it. That was our good Yudi. I have had him for so long. Through so many fights. Our awesome saddle was on him. And I bet all the Megalania are still down there. So, man. So here's the thing. I came to do a boss fight today. I guess we can take these guys in? I mean, they're all ready. I had those kind of... <laughs> good thing I got them ready. I was going to wait until after this video. But... I got them ready so I could just do them two back to back. Let me grab everything. We should have all the parts. We do. We need that. We're going to need these and these. What else was it? The talons. I think that's it for animal parts on that part. We're going to need one more of these. And then the artifacts. Oh my gosh, man. Junior. Yeah, yeah. I wish I was just here sleeping too. Horrible day, man. It's gonna be all my extra artifacts, too. I had these all set for the alpha fight, so I wouldn't have to go back and get, <laughs> get any more. 
Alright, well, that's all the parts. I think. Let me double check and make sure. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, Titan Bow of Venom? Do I have that? Why are these not alphabetical? I changed it. Got all those. We got all those. I think that's it. That's it. Cool. If anything, I can come back here. It's not a big deal. I'm gonna take them all and throw them into the terminal just so I know what we have. Let's make up a couple things. We're gonna need... We're gonna need probably ten of these. We're gonna need another one of these. We're not taking any weapons or anything this time. Well, I mean... I don't wanna have to make any more. I don't know if I can make any more. That's a thing. Dude, I am so short on resources. Alright, let me get everything together. I'm gonna throw those guys into soul traps, and we're gonna head down and... I don't know, probably just... Pick up the Megalania, and I'll teleport back to base here, just to drop them off. I mean, I guess we could use those on the open world bosses. I was kind of wanting to do that anyways. And I need to make a canteen for sure. Now, let's see if all of our guys are still here. They are. <laughs> I mean, where else would they be, right? Guys, look. <laughs> see, the thing is, when I go into the boss fight, you were supposed to come in there too. Not just stay out here. I'm just saying, we lost a good team today because of that. All right, let's get all these guys picked up. <gasps> I'm out of soul traps. You've got to be kidding me. All right, I need to untrap these guys and then put those in traps, teleport up, come back, and then we'll start the boss fight. Are we good? What was that? I'm hoping that Rex didn't follow me in. I jumped down on the shadow main and landed almost right on top of him. The last thing we need today. Ah, I just made it back. Had to make some more soul traps, so we're good to go on that. Everybody fit, of course, it is a very, very small platform, but so are the shadow means. So it kind of works out. All the Megalania are back up in the soul terminal. Now, <laughs> I just need to be able to get through here and get up to the terminal. The cool part is we have everything to do the alpha right now, too. Seeing as how we got all the extra parts and stuff, I mean, we're not going to. I'd like to see how they do on the beta, but kind of nice to know we have everything we need. So, let's try this for the second time. Hopefully, hopefully everybody makes it in. You guys listening? Do not leave me high and dry like the Megalania. I'm talking to you. One beta brood mother coming up for the second time. Can I please get around your your tail? I need to I need to get up around there. Just around there. Please, please. <laughs> A little bit further. There we go. Try this again. Fantastic! Everybody made it! That's what I like to see! Alright guys, so I need to see about this roar. I never really mess with it. There we go! Oh, nice boost! Alright guys, over there! We should be doing a ton of damage. Oh, we are, look at that, man. 1100 a bite! This guy is going to melt. Shouldn't be any problems. How long does the, the boost last? Oh, about 16 seconds, okay. So that's not too bad, man. We have the, uh, let's turn damage numbers off. It's gonna melt. I'm not worried about our health at all. I was wanting to see, though, how these guys do anyways. So I know if they're gonna be able to do the alpha fights. But it looks like we're gonna be fine, man. Ah, oh, I think we're gonna be fine. Not worried about the minions at all. <laughs> I am so disappointed about the Megalanias, though. Broodmother is not looking good at all. Let's see about getting another boost going. There we go. Nice, man. Nice. At least something is going right today, you know? I like the Shadow Mains, man. They are small. They fit on platforms. You can shoot off of them. Take them in the water. They do very, very well on boss fights. And these guys aren't even mutated that much either. And then the built-in armor helps too, right? With the saddle costs. Look at that, man. No problem at all. So, let's equip this. I want to... Get that. Let's turn this way. I'll turn damage numbers back on. The lag. <laughs> From all the numbers. Oh, we did very, very well on this one. For the second time, that is. So, we got the trophy. We've got the Dermis. A whole 56 on the element. Wow, they couldn't spare it and put it at 60, huh? Had to make it 56. <laughs> and then we got the flag. Let's go ahead and pick everybody up while we're here. Make it easier for whenever we leave. And I'm probably going to pick up some of this stuff, too. I can definitely use the resources back at base. I have gone through so much meat, man. Probably 20,000 20, or so on the meats, I think. And then the Chitons always welcome for wingman and building stuff. We're good. I think that's everybody. 
All right, everybody did get picked up. We got an egg there. Take what? I'm always up for a snack. Where is the egg? So take a quick look at these guys. They lost about, looks like 2,000, 1,000, 2,000. So not too bad. I think we'll do fine on the alpha versions with them. I'm thinking about using them for most of the alpha fights just because they're so tanky. A mix between these and then just to change it up, some of our tech wrecks too. So not too bad, man. Not too bad. What else have we got? Drop all this junk before we head back to base. That way I don't have all that stuff up there. And most of this is going to go right into the storage anyways. Cool. Let's use our teleporter. Oh, you know what? Let's not use a teleporter. Let's throw out a couple of them. Doesn't matter which ones. We'll do one for now. Let's take out this Rex. Since we're right here, might as well. It's a level 100. It'll get him out of the doorway as well because I think he should be right outside of it because he was following me as I came back up the second time into here. Where did he go? There he is. Let's throw out a couple of these just to make it go faster. I tell you what, let's hop on the male one so we can do the boost again. Let's see how just two of them do. I mean, we should be fine. It just... Do I not have... I thought I had a female out. There we go. Should make pretty quick work of them. Get us some extra runes, and then we'll just teleport back up to base. Oh, we got the hydration buff as well. Is there water in the Broodmother Cave? I know there is on the Megapithecus. Hmm, I'll have to see. That might kind of help us out a lot, too. Who got the stuff? You did. Are we full? Oh, it's all that prime meat. I'm not worried about that. We'll take the hide, though, for sure. And then... Oh, we're full, we're full as well. Drop the narco berries. I need to hide more than anything. Did we get the runes? I don't want the prime meat. We got the runes. We got 40. Okay, that's not too bad. Drop that as well. All right, up to base we go. There's another egg. Just saying. <laughs> They're good omelets, man. Oh, dude, we made it back. Perfect timing. I tell you what, you guys and your timing on that. Not too bad of a day. It kind of, I mean, honestly, went horrible. We lost the UD. We lost all of our stuff. We're going to keep that one. Let's change this one out. We'll just throw it into there for the moment. I don't think I like it. Do we have one of the ones from the other one? We do. I'm going to say we should. Okay, well, let's do this. Let's keep these together. Make life a little bit easier for a change. So that's the beta. And that's the Gamma. I think the Gamma looks better. Dude, the Gamma looks better on most of these. We'll have to see how the Alpha is. But I definitely like that one a lot more. Same with that. We're not going to do anything with the Trophy again because we already have the Alpha versions, right? Kind of sucks, but I mean, it is what it is. And then we've got the Alpha Dragon too. This is the one I'm curious about. Whenever we get the other ones. I'm hoping it's going to be different colors. It should be, right? There's, I think all of them change colors as you go up the tiers. But I want to see how the better one is. What level we get. And then something I want to try soon is cloning. I want to do the cloning chamber, and I'm thinking about, so I hate the cinema crops taming, right? I'm really worried about taking Wingman out all the time. I don't want something to happen, so I'm thinking we'll get the cloner out here soon. We're going to clone our Fenrirs that we have to see if that works. Maybe does, maybe doesn't. I also want to go ahead and clone Wingman. So I know we don't get any of the boosts or nothing, but I just mainly use him for stamina for flights and stuff. So if I have a twin, we can take his twin out and kind of leave him around base here, or vice versa, whatever. But that way, at least, we don't have to worry about losing him all the time. Ah, dude, well, it was another learning day. <laughs> we we kind of got wiped. We did, but we didn't. We lost the UD. We kept all the Megalanias. We beat the boss. But I had to use all of our stuff that I had set up for Alpha. And turns out the Shadow Mains are pretty good. I mean, we already knew that. But I think they're going to be good for the Alpha as well. And kind of sucks, man. I did not know that the Megalania can't be used for a boss fight. I'll have to look it up later and see what the deal is with it. I'm guessing that it's probably just a certain boss that they can be used on. That's the way some of them are, like with the, the dragons and with the thylas. You can only use those on some bosses. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video, even though we did have more issues again with the bosses. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.